Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild the slipper clutch for your 3S Arma 4x4. To do this, you're going to need some kind of 2mm hex driver. Um, your car should have included some Allen wrenches that you can use if you don't have a toolkit, but I highly recommend one of these. You will also need one of these slipper clutch maintenance sets. This is part number, right there on camera. I'm also going to be using the Hot Racing Steel Spur Gear here. But you can get a steel one from Arma as well. And then the last thing is if they need replacing, and I'll show you how to tell, get some clutch pads. And the part number for that one, since I've lost the tag, is ARA310908. Alright, without any further ado, let's get into rebuilding this thing. Alright, so the first step is going to be disassembly, of course. Probably won't be able to see it terribly well on camera, but there is a 2mm hex screw in the bottom here. So just grab your 2mm driver there and unscrew it. It's quite a long screw so it'll take a minute to get it fully unscrewed. And when you take this screw out there's going to be bearing and most likely a spring as well. You want to be careful that those don't go flying off on you if you're planning on reusing those. There we are. So, the bearing is going to be on the screw here, I'll show you what I mean. So this bearing is actually pretty interesting, it's three little pieces here, Let's see if I can't show you. There you have it. And the third piece is still on the screw here. And then the spring, it can be a little difficult to get out, however, if you take a smaller hex driver or allen wrench, whatever you have, you can usually prod it out and tap it out. There it goes. And there is the spring. Now your clutch maintenance set is going to come with a new bearing, a new spring, and a new screw. Um, and a couple other things for some of the larger clutches. Now with that part removed, we're ready to start disassembling the other half flip it over here and then simply pull out the other plate here. Now there's going to be three clutch discs in here. The first one is right on top. There it is. And then there's going to be a steel plate under that one. And then there's going to be another clutch disc down at the bottom here. The third one is on the opposite side. Basically sandwiched uh, sandwiches actually the spur gear here. Now you might want some kind of pry tool to pry these out. For example a flat bladed screwdriver if you have one in your toolkit. Just like that, there's the other another one. And this one in the bottom is going to be the most difficult to get out. Some of the metal spur gears will actually have holes on this side so you can just push the pad out from this side. And then talking of whether or not your pads need to be replaced if you can feel that they are worn in quite a lot, like you can feel the groove here, you probably should replace them. These ones could stand to be replaced, but they could be reused if you didn't have any replacements. So the last thing to do is to pull this bearing out of the spur gear, and then we're ready to start uh, assembling the rebuilt slipper clutch. Alright, so here we have all the new parts for the slipper clutch including hot racing steel spur gear. Again, you don't have to use the hot racing one, you can just use the Arma steel if you want to. So we're going to start by putting the bearing into the spur gear here. And since I'm using the old bearing here, I've got some bearing lubricant I'm going to spray in there. Make sure you use plenty. <laughs> and this is going to help prolong the life of the bearing, keep it running smoothly. and then we are ready to press it in. There's going to be a lip. You want to make sure that that is on the inside here where the two pads and the steel plate are going to be. Press it in just like that. And then you'll want to wipe down your hands if you've got extra bearing lube on them just to make sure you don't get any on the pads so you make sure you get good grip when you put this thing back in the vehicle. And with clean hands and extra uh, bearing lube wiped off the spur gear here. We're ready to start dropping these clutch plates in here. The 
they're going to be a pretty tight fit so just press them all the way in there and then this is the side where next we drop in the steel plate another pad And then this hub goes in here, and it's keyed a certain way for that steel plate. It may take some persuasion to get everything to line up. But once you do, you'll feel that this hub is grinding against the slipper pad, which is what you want. And with that side assembled, we're ready to start assembling the screw here. We're going to use a little bit more bearing lube on this little bearing as well, again, to prolong its life. Just like so. And you'll notice with the other outer pieces of this bearing here, there's going to be a little groove. That groove is going to be facing up on the first one here. And then you'll put the uh, bearing race with the balls on next. Just like that and then for the third one here the bearing race is going to have the groove facing down this way just like so and then once we got this bearing installed on the screw here we're going to go ahead and drop the last clutch pad into the other side of the clutch here it once again is going to take some persuasion nice tight fit And after a little bit of a struggle getting that clutch pad in, we're ready for final assembly here. Go ahead and throw the hub on the other side here. Make sure you drop the spring in first. And then you can drop the, spring, the screw with the bearing on it through the spring there. Grab your 2.5 millimeter hex driver and start threading that thing in there. And like I said before, it's going to be a long screw. It takes a while to get it threaded in, so sing a little song if you like while you're threaded in there. I don't like singing, so I'm not going to sing. Once you start to feel the spring resisting your threading in there, you know you're getting close. What you're going to want to do with this is take it all the way down tight until you pretty much can't turn it anymore. Like that. Actually, sounds like we're just seating the clutch pads all the way. But once you do get it tight as you can get it, you want to back it off about a quarter turn, like so. And then your clutch slipper is set to just the right point. And you're ready to get this thing installed and go play again. One other thing that the clutch maintenance set comes with is this little plastic sleeve here. It goes on the slipper clutch. Basically just protects this shaft from scratching and things like that and also acts as a slight spacer to help keep your clutch alignment correct. And that my friends is how you rebuild an Arma 3S 4x4 slipper clutch. Look out for more videos coming in the future on how to work on these things. Until next time, have a good one.